Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then i have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and i can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions concerns or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general and also go pick up my brand new girls night card game it's officially out so if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls' night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, How to Get a Man to Think About You Non-Stop. Right, ladies? So you want to get a man to think about you non-stop. You want to always be on this man's mind. You want this man to be obsessed with you, right? In a good way. You know what I'm saying? You want this man to really want you. You want him to want to chase you. You want him to pursue you. You want him to just always be thinking about you. No other woman. No other woman even in his head because all he could just think about is you. Like you just running all around his mind and he just thinking about you. When he go to sleep, when he wake up, he's still thinking about you throughout the day. He thinking about you and he just like, wow, you know, I really miss this woman or I really like her or I really care for her or I want more really, really bad. I want her to be my woman. I want her to be my girlfriend. I want her to be my wife. I need this woman in my life. Like, what's up with her? Like, I gotta have her. I gotta have, I gotta get my hands on this woman. I need her in my life. I gotta have her, right? You want this man just drooling over you. You want this man to be chasing, running after you. I need you in my life, girl. Come over here. Come here, please. I gotta have you, right? And a lot of times, like I said, over the other girls, because this man, you know, a lot of guys, they may already be thinking about a girl or may already be talking to a couple girls, stuff like that. But you want to get so much in this man's mind where he ain't even thinking about them other girls. He like, who? What other girls? All I need is her in my life. All I'm thinking about is her. Like, you know, so them other girls not going to be nowhere on his mind. He not even going to be thinking about them other girls. He not even going to want them other girls. You the one going to occupy his time. You going to live in his head rent-free. You want to live in a man's head rent-free 
where you just sitting there inside of his head and you just chilling in his head. He like, why can't I stop thinking about this woman? I gotta have her, right? So ladies, we gonna jump right into this video, right? And I'm gonna give you per usual my top five. Yes, five special ways, five big, huge, gigantic ways how you as a woman, how you can make any man on this earth, any man fall in love with you, think about you nonstop, chase you, gotta have you, I need you. He waking up thinking about you, all at his lunch, all while he at work, he thinking about you. When he get on his lunch break, he calling you. When he get off work, he calling you. He want to see you. He needs you so bad. And you just all over this man's mind. Like you took over this man's whole mind, his whole brain. And he can't think of nothing else but needing you and wanting you and wanting to be with you, right? And want to treat you right, okay? So we're going to jump right into it and we're going number one. So number one. The first way how you as a woman, how you can make any man think about you nonstop, you always on his mind, is you got to be very unpredictable and you got to be unavailable. So you got to be unpredictable and unavailable. So you got to be hot and cold. You can't always be predictable. You know what predictability looks like? You calling him every morning or texting him every morning. Good morning, handsome. Good morning. Or calling him, hey, good morning. Every single morning, like a pattern. You know, every single day at the same time, you're there. Every single day at the same time, he know he can hear from you. He know your whole schedule. He know when you get off work, okay, she gonna be doing this, 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 this. I know what time she go to sleep. I know what time she wake up. I know where she's at at all times. I know what she doing. And guess what that is? Boring. That becomes very boring after a while because it's like a man cannot think about you if he always knows that you're always there. If you're always there, anytime I pick up the phone and I know that your answer, whenever I call you, I know your answer. Whenever I text you, I know that I could just text you and you're going to text me right back. You know, whenever I want to see you, I know you can just... I know you're just going to pull up on me or I can pull up on you if I want to see you whenever I want to. So you're always predictable and I can't never think about you. I can't miss you. I can't want you if I already got you. I already know your every move. I already know everything that you do. You know what I'm saying? So it's boring. It get boring. It get routine. You know, it get real predictable. And a lot of times when you are real predictable and you're too available, right? Let's talk about when you're too available. When you're too available when you're always calling this man. You know, maybe you're the one. Maybe you as a woman, you're the one reaching out to him. You're the one texting him every day and he barely texts you back or maybe he do text you back, but you're always the one doing all the work. You the one that got to initiate contact. You the one got to reach out to him first, but he don't never reach out to you first. And if you don't reach out to him first, then he won't reach out to you at all. So the only time when you reach out to this man that's when he reply back to you and you got to stop that, right? You got to make the man come to you. You got to make the man wonder about you because if you always reaching out to him, again, it's predictable. He know that you always there. He know that you chasing him. He know you want him. He know you need to see him. He know that your life, he could clearly, he can see this woman ain't got no life. This woman call me every day, text me all, all day. This woman, she can't be that busy. She cannot be that busy if she always, if she always reaching out to me, blowing up my phone. This woman be blowing up my phone. I know where she at. I know what she doing. It's boring now. Boring. You know, it's so boring. I know where she at. I know what she doing. It ain't no fun in it, right? The fun is when he don't know where you at right? When you don't pick up your phone all the time, what you need to do 
to get a man to think about you nonstop, to get in a man's head, this how you get in a man's head. You got to be unpredictable and unavailable so this man is thinking about you and wondering what happened. Where is this woman at? I like her and I want to see her. I want to talk to her, but she don't want to talk to me or she... But she's not talking to me or she's not available at the time when I want to talk to her. And now he's going to respect the times when he do talk to you. So when he do finally talk to you, now he's like, oh, okay, he enjoys the time that y'all spend together because he never know when he'll hear from you again, right? So so keep keep everything to a bare minimum. When this man texts you, don't grab your phone and be trying to text him back all fast. Never, ever, ever text a man back fast. Don't be so thirsty. Don't be so desperate. Slow down. Chill out. You know, let, let, the, let the text marinate real quick. You know, you should not be that readily available when this man can reach out to you at any time he get ready to or any time he feel like calling you or texting you, you're always available for him. No, it don't work like that. You are a busy woman. You are a woman of substance. You don't have time to just always be available, right? You got to look at yourself like a queen. If you are a queen, are queens always available for just anybody? If somebody want to see the queen, if it's not important, then you can't just see me when you want to see me. You got to make an appointment to see the queen, right? You know what I'm saying? A lot of times you can't just see. Even let's say you're getting your hair done. You as a woman, when you get your hair done, don't you got to set an appointment with whoever doing your hair, right? Right? With your beautician or, you know, with your hairdresser or, you know, with whoever doing your hair, your stylist, your hairstylist, whoever doing your hair, don't you always got to set an appointment with them? Can you just walk up in their shop and say, hey, do my hair right now? No, nah, it don't work like that. You know, your hairstylist, your hairstylist is busy doing other people's hair. You can't just come up in my shop and just expect for me to do your hair. You got to come by appointment. So this man, he got to set an appointment with you. It ain't just going to be he can just call you whenever. He can just text you whenever and you'll answer, right? So don't text the man back so fast. You know, give it a few hours. You know, give it. You know, give it at least 30 minutes, you know, or give it at least, you know, an hour or so, you know, and then text them back. But don't text them back super fast. As soon as he texts you, don't be texting them back real fast right after grabbing your phone desperate, trying to text them back so fast, like chill out, you know. Or when this man call you, don't be jumping across the room trying to answer the phone, stuff like that. No, let it ring. And if it go, let it ring and let it go to voicemail, you know, let it ring. You know what I'm saying? You busy. Now, later on, you know, maybe you could call him back, you know, later on that day, you could say, hey, you know, you called me. I see you called me, you know, he going to say, oh, yeah, I called you. I was trying to see what was up with you was going on. You say, oh, yeah, I was busy earlier, but what's up? You know, what's going on? You know, and then that conversation, let me tell you about the phone conversation, right? When you on the phone, you don't want to be talking on the phone all day long or all night long. Don't be talking to a man on the phone for hours and hours and hours. You're too predictable. This man know you're too available. This man know if you on the phone with me, let's be real. How busy are you? If you could be on the phone with me, for two hours, three hours, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. If you could be on the phone with me for all these hours on the phone, what kind of life do you have? You must not be doing nothing in your life that is productive if you got all this time on your hands to be sitting up on the phone with me for all this time. And a lot of those men... They probably, and a lot of those men, if they got time to sit on the phone with you all day long, then they ain't got no life either. If a man got time to talk to you all day long on the phone with you, he ain't making no money if he talking on the phone with you all day. He ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing, right? So, either way, neither one of y'all should have all that time to be talking on the phone. Like, keep the phone calls to a bare minimum, right? If this man call you 
and you know, you do happen to answer, you know, here and there. Don't be answering every single time, you know, mix it up. Sometimes you answer the phone, sometimes you don't answer the phone. This time I answer, maybe I won't answer. And, and then, you know, sometimes switch it up. Maybe one day he call you, okay, you answer. Maybe the next day he call you, okay, I'll answer. Maybe the next day he call you, you don't answer that day. And he don't hear from you for the whole day or for hours later, you know? So mix it up. You know, you got to be unpredictable. Talk to him one day, then don't talk to him the next day. Then talk to him two days in a row, then don't talk to him two days in a row. Then talk to him, you know, a day, then don't talk to him for three days. You know, like mix it up. And this man like, where is this woman at? Like, she act like she don't even care about me. Like, I'm not a priority in her life. And that messes with his head. And that's why he's thinking about you now. Because he's like, how do I get a hold of this woman? She's so busy. You know, I reach out to her. I text her. Sometimes she don't text me back. Or sometimes she takes me back real slow. When I call her, sometimes she don't answer. Or when I call her, you know, don't be on the phone for all them hours. Maybe keep the phone conversations to, you know, 20 minutes max. You know, I say about a good 20 minutes. Then tell that man, hey, you know, I got to go. I got something to do. Something came up. I got to go real quick. I'll call you back. And then hang up. And then go do something else. Even if you're not busy, just make it seem like you're busy, right? You got to act like you're busy. You got to act like you got something going on. So don't be on the phone all day long, all night long with a man. Keep the phone calls to a bare minimum. Keep the phone calls 20 minutes max. You should not be on no phone with no man more than 20 minutes. You know, do not try not to be... Try not to be on the phone no more than 20 minutes, you know? The phone conversations should really strictly be just for setting up dates, right? And just checking in, you know? Text, when a man texts you, don't be texting him whole paragraphs, going back and forth, texting him, texting him, texting him. Nah, keep the text messages to a bare minimum. And now he gonna be like, dang, like, what's up with her? Like, she's so busy. Like, what's up? Hey, you know, uh, he trying to start a whole conversation with you through text. Like, no, nah, don't be having a whole conversation in the text messages or on the phone. The phone, the phone itself, whether it's phone calls or text messages, it should only strictly be for setting up a date. That should only be, he should be calling you saying, hey, what you doing Friday night? Hey, just checking in on you. How you doing? Are you okay? Do you need anything? Just want to hear your voice? Okay, bye. You know, that's all that the phone call should be. Or when he texts you, hey, how you doing? Good morning. H hope you have a wonderful day. You know, stuff like that. That's all he should be texting you. You know, or hey, you know, what you doing Friday night? I want to, you know, I want to hang out with you. And, you know, I got this spot where I want to take you to, right? That should be the only time y'all should really talk on the phone or use the phone, period, is to set up a date and to check in. Don't be using the phone to be calling all day, talking to him all day, pillow talking all day, kicking your feet up, you know, stuff like that. That's not what that's for. Don't be in high school. We not in high school no more. Y'all got to get out of that high school, college you know, phase where y'all used to sit up on the phone all night and talk on the phone, go to sleep on the phone, wake up on the phone. No, you grown. You too grown to be going to sleep on the phone with a man. Good night, good night. Waking up with him on the phone and stuff. No, no. Let him think about you. Let him miss you. Let him want you. Let him need you. When am I going to see this woman? When can I talk to her? She didn't answer this time. If I call her again, let me see if she answered. So now he just never know when he gonna get to you. And it makes the thrill, it makes the hunting and the chasing. You gotta understand, men are hunters. So now he's gonna be hunting you and chasing you because you're not easy to catch. If you're easy to catch, he know this woman gonna call me. He know either you gonna be the one always reaching out to him or even when, even if you're not the one, he know he can always reach out to you when he get ready to. But if he know that he can't get you when he wants you, that makes him want you more when he can't have you when he wants you, right?
So that's how you get in a man's head is when he wants to talk to you or he wants to reach out, he wants to see you, and he can't. So let's just say this man say, hey, are you free Friday night? You tell that man, uh, I got to let you know. I'm going to see. You tell him, I'll see. I'll let you know. You know, I'll get back with you, right? I'll get back with you. You know, and now this man stressing out. Now he like, okay, what's up? I want to take her out, but she didn't give me a real answer. But she didn't give me a real answer. I want to take her out, you know, but she said she'll let me know. So I just got to wait. And that waiting, that makes him think about you more because now he wants to take you out. And he's hoping that you'll get back to him to tell him yes, you know. So, or you may tell him, you know, no, nah, I can't do it. I can't do Friday night. I'm busy Friday night. Now, this man going to be like, oh, you're busy? Wow. I want to see you Friday night. I, I'm free Friday night. I want to see you and I can't see you. That makes that man want to see you more. The fact that he can't see you when he wants to see you. So that's how you get in a man's head. When he wants you and wants to reach out, wants to hear your voice, wants to text you, wants to wants to have you when he feels like it, but he can't. And he got to set an appointment to get back to you when he can, right? So you got to be unavailable and unpredictable. You got to send this man mixed signals. You know, don't always text him... You know, switch up your text messages, you know. Sometimes text them back, you know, 20, 30 minutes later. Sometimes text them back two, three hours later. Sometimes don't even text them back at all to the next day, you know. Hey, you know, I got busy yesterday. I saw you called me yesterday. I saw your text yesterday, but I was busy yesterday. But, you know, I just wanted to let you know today, you know, that I got your text, right? And now this man going to be like, oh, so you was too busy for me and I'm not a priority in your life? Well, how do I become a priority in this woman's life? I want to become a priority in this woman's life, but it seems like she just so busy for me. How do I get more time with her? So now the time that he does spend with you is more precious, is more special to him. Because he never know when he's going to see you again or he never know when he's going to talk to you again, right? So you want to keep the phone calls bare minimum, right? Again, phone calls should be no more than 20 minutes max. After 20 minutes, tell that man, I got to go. You tell him, I have to go, sir. I got something to do. Hey, I'm going to call you back. I got something to do. Okay, bye. Tell that man, I got something to do. Now, when you rush him off the phone like that, after you talk to him on the phone a little bit, you rush him off the phone. Hey, I got to go. Something came up. I got to go, you know, or hey, you know, hey, I'm about to do something. I'm going to call you right back, you know, and then hang up, you know. Now he's going to be like, what happened? What came up? Why she had to leave me? Why she had to go, right? You as a woman, you always, you always, you always want to be the first person to leave, Right? You, you want to be the first person to cut off the conversation. Hey, I got to go. Hey, I'm going to call you back. Hey, hey, you know, hey, something came up. I got to call you back. Hey, let me do something real quick. I'm going to call you back. Hey, you always want to be the first person to hang up first. I, I got to go. Never tell that. Never let that man tell you, hey, you know, like y'all just sitting on the phone and let's say the phone quiet and stuff like that. And then he just say, hey, you know, I'm busy. I'm going to call you back. Right? And then look at how you feel after this man say, I'm going to call you back. Now you like, okay, when is he going to call me back? I want him to call me back. When is he going to call me back, right? So when a man do that to you, look how crazy you act, right? So you got to flip it and do it on the man and see how crazy he get over you. So now he'll be like, what happened to her? Where is this woman at? You know, this woman told me that she going to call me back, but she didn't call me back yet. Or she, or she has something to do or she was going to talk to me later. But what, what was so important that she couldn't be talking to me right now? Whatever she doing is more important than talking to me. And I'm not a priority. So when a man feels like he's not a priority in your life, then he will want to be a priority in your life. And he will be chasing you, calling you, blowing up your, blowing up your phone, texting you, wanting to see you. When can we hang out? When can I see you? I couldn't see you last week because you said you was too busy. I couldn't see you, you know, whenever, because you said you had something to do. 
I couldn't, I tried to text you, but you was too busy to get back to me or you texted me back, you know, hours later, you know, and you wasn't texting back. And then don't text the man, don't text the man whole paragraphs, right? Don't text the man a lot or don't double, triple text. Never, ever, ever double text the man. Do not double text him. You know, just keep it to a bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? Keep all the text messages to a bare minimum, you know, and leave all that for just appointments. Leave the phone for appointments to see you. That's all your phone is, is for him to set up dates and appointments. Outside of that, it ain't going to be all that talking, right? Because if y'all spending all day long talking on the phone, keep in mind, listen to me, right? Listen to me right now. If you keep... If you stay all day long on the phone with a man telling him your whole life story or you're always texting this man everything about you, y'all talking on the phone and texting all the time, now this man know everything about you. So now when y'all do go out on a date, you ain't got nothing to talk about because he already know everything about you. He always know where you at. You're always so predictable. You're always so available. Now it's just like, I don't really want you now, you know? Now it's like, you know, you're always there. I can really care less. I know you always there, so it's whatever, you know? So you as a woman, you gotta be unavailable, unpredictable, right? Unavailable, unpredictable. Send that man mixed signals. You know, you wanna send him mixed signals. Instead of him sending you mixed signals, you got to send him make signals. Make him wonder if you will even text him back or not. Make him wonder why you didn't pick up his phone call when he called you. Make him wonder why you had to get off the phone so fast. Make him wonder what's up with her. Where can I see her? I need to see her. I want to talk to her. Make him think about you and miss you and crave your attention, right? So that's number one. So number two. The second way, how you as a woman, how you can make any man think about you nonstop. You always on his mind, always on his brain. He needs you and chasing you and got to have you in his life is never, ever, ever tell him your true feelings about him. Don't be telling men your true feelings. Never let a man know how you really feel about him. Don't be telling no man, I really like you. Oh, I really like you. I really had such a great time with you. You're such an amazing guy. You're so handsome. Every time we spend time together, it's just the best thing in the world. I got butterflies in my stomach. You're such a great guy. I really, really like you. I like where this is headed. I, I can see the future with us. You know, I want to just be with you. I like you a lot. You're so cool. You're so great. You just amazing, right? Don't be giving a man all these compliments and drooling all over him, you know, chasing him after him and boosting his ego. When you boost a man's ego, it makes him feel like, oh, she really liked me. So I know she really liked me. I don't have to think about her because I already know she she liked me. Why, why am I thinking about a woman that I already got? She already want me. So she ain't no, she ain't no, she ain't no challenge. She ain't nothing that I got to chase. She already there. So I don't really care for it, right? But if this man don't know where he's staying with you, you got to always keep your mouth closed. If a man asks you, how do you feel about me? Or if a man say, oh, okay, you know, how do you feel about me? Or do you like me? Or tell me, you know, your first impression on me. Or tell me how you feel about me. Tell me what you think about me, right? This is what you say. If a man asks you how you feel about him and he sets you up with this question, this is how you counter. You tell that man, you know what? You're cool. I mean, so far, so good. You're cool. You know, I'm just taking my time to get to know you. But you're cool, I guess. You know? That man gonna be like, I guess. I'm cool. I guess. That's not the answer he was looking for. He was fishing for a compliment. He was fishing for you to say, oh, I really, really like you. I like having a great time with you. You know, I get butterflies and you're just so amazing and blah, 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 blah. He wants you to drool over him. But when you're not 
the girl that's drooling over him. He like, wait a minute. How do I make her drool over me? So this woman spent all this time with me or this woman and being on a, a couple of dates with me or we've been texting and calling and, you know, we've been talking a little bit here and there. You know, I'm thinking that she's starting to like me, but she tell me that she not all that interested, but she not not interested. So she like in the middle. So it's like, I want her to be really interested. So how do I get her there? Like she not there yet. She don't see me. She don't see, she not drooling all over me. She not drooling all over me. She not chasing me. Why isn't this woman chasing me? Why isn't this woman, you know, googly eyes over me? Why isn't this woman desperate over me? Why isn't this woman giving me her validation? You know, so you never, ever, ever want to give a man validation. If a man asks you how you feel about him, just tell him you're cool. So far, so good. We'll see. You know, you know, I guess you're cool so far, you know, but it's, you know, I'm going to see how it go, you know? So this man know like, oh, you know, she, she, she kind of feeling me, but she's not really feeling me. Is she feeling me? Is she not feeling me? I don't know. I need her to feel me. I need her to want me, you know? So that's why you're in his head because now he don't know where he stand with you. Never verbally tell a man how you feel about him. Don't tell him that you like him. Never, ever, ever. Don't you ever. Don't let it come out your mouth. Never, ever, ever tell a man that you like him. Don't tell him that you like him. Let you tell yourself. Keep it to yourself. Tell yourself, yeah, I like him, right? But don't let him know that. Don't tell that man. Keep it in your mind. Keep it in your head. You know you like him, but don't let that man know that you like him. If a man knows that you like him and you admire him and you find him attractive and you really want him and you think that he's just so great of a guy and so amazing, this man know, oh, I already know where I stand with her. It's too easy. It's no fun. It's no thrill. I can have her whenever I want her. She like me. She want me. I can come back to her whenever I feel like it, right? So you're not going to be on this man's mind because he know that you always there and you really like him and you think he's so handsome and he's so tall and you like everything about him. Like every time, like let's just say when you get in this man's car, you get in this man's car, you say, wow, this car is so nice. It's like a spaceship in here. Oh, my gosh. This, this car is so nice. You have a really nice car. Your car is so beautiful. I really like your car, right? This man going to say, ha, ha, got her. Got her with my car. You know, I got her with my car. All it took for me to pull up in my nice car, and that's going to make her want me. You know, you see how she acting when she saw my car. But... When you get in the car and you don't say nothing, this man going to be wondering, does she like my car? I mean, I bought this car so I could attract more women, but this car that I got, you know, I ain't really, it's not really working. You know, I thought my brand new BMW or my brand new Mercedes, or I thought my brand new Range Rover was going to attract her, you know, or any woman, but she got in my Range Rover or got in my Mercedes and she just sat there and didn't say nothing. Every girl that get in my car, they tell me that my car is so amazing. Why don't she tell me my car is amazing? Does she like it? Does she like me? You know, you know, so don't let a man know. Don't give him no compliments. Don't tell a man, I like those shoes. I like that hat. I like, I like that shirt. I like your car, I like your house, I like your apartment, I like this, I like that, I like this, I like that. Don't tell a man what you like about him, because now he going to get it through his mind. Oh, so she feeling your boy. Okay, so she feeling me. Now I know where I stand with her, and now I know that she really like me, so it ain't no chase, it ain't no thrill. I don't have to chase her, because I can already have her when I want her. I already attracted her. So I ain't got to, you know, play the game to attract her. I ain't got to chase her, you know? So, or he might try to use you. Since, since he know where he stand with you, now he know, oh, since you really, really like me and you think I'm just so, so great of a guy, that means you put me on a pedestal. If you put me on a pedestal, you'll probably be willing to do anything for me 
just because you like me, right? And you want my approval. So now he feel like, hey, I'm the king and I'm the prize and you got to chase me. So sometimes when you give a man compliments, this man will feel like, oh, you're putting me on the pedestal because you really, really like me and you like everything about me. So you're putting me so high up on the pedestal. So now he's going to be looking down on you. When you put a man high on a pedestal, he will be looking down on you. So never put a man on a pedestal, you know? So don't give a man no compliments at all, right? Let his mind wonder, does she like me? Is she feeling me? Does she want me? Does she like me? How does she feel about me? Does she like my car? Does she like anything? All this money I got? You know, is she going to be attracted to this money? Is she attracted to me? Is she attracted to anything? I mean, I know she here with me. You know, me and her, we on this date right now. But, and you know, sometimes she answer the phone calls. And, you know, when we do talk, it's a, it's a good time. When we do talk, when we do hang out, it's good. But I don't really know how she really feel about me. Because her actions and her words are kind of wishy-washy in and out. I'm sending him mixed signals. And now he like, oh, you know, I don't know what to do now because I, I want this woman. I want more time with her. I want her to like me, but nothing I'm doing is impressing her. So this man, when you don't give a man compliments, basically when you basically when you give a man compliments, you're basically telling him that he is approved. You're basically telling him that you admire him and that he meets your requirements and that you like him. So now he like, I already passed the test. I ain't got a chase or I can use her now, you know? So don't let a man know where you stand with him or he stands with you, you know? Just play it, just, just downplay it. You always got to downplay it. If a man tell you, oh, do you like my car? Yeah, you like this brand new Mercedes. Yeah, you like this brand new BMW. You know, and, it's, and and you tell that man, this is what you tell that man. You tell that man, eh, it's cool. Eh, it's okay. You know, your car, it's okay. It's cool. Cool? This man going to be like, what? Do you not know how much I paid for this car? Do you not see how great this car is? Do you not see how nice this car is? And you not impressed? Right? So you got to be unimpressed. When you're unimpressed and you're just like neutral, like don't really care, nonchalant, you know, and you don't really show a man that you really, really like him and you're not really like overly verbally affectionate or verbally, you know, and you don't verbally compliment him or verbally tell him how you feel and you keep everything to yourself, that's going to make that man wonder, did she even like me? And that makes him want you more when he knows that he can't have you when he wants you, right? So that's number two. So number three, the third way how you as a woman, how you can make any man think about you nonstop and live in his head rent free where he's just obsessed with you and wants more of you, needs you. He wants more time with you. I got to have you. I need more is you want to be a mystery. A lot of y'all women, you ain't no mystery. On the first date, you done told this man your whole life story. When y'all first hopped on the phone for y'all first phone conversation, guess what? You told this man your whole life story. You know, this man know everything about you. This man know what your mama name. This man know what high school you went to. This man know your favorite color. This man know your grandma name before she got married. <laughs> this man know all your all about your family. This man know all about you and what you got going on and how you grew up and all up in your business. All about you. This man know everything about you. You done told this man everything. You not no mystery. So when a man knows everything about you, you're not on my mind because I already know everything about you and it's boring now because you just there. I already know everything about you. So it's kind of like if you watch a movie all the way through, the movie not as exciting if you already know what's going to happen. But if you watch a movie... And you don't know how it ends, it makes the movie that much more exciting because you don't know how the movie gonna end or you don't know the plot and the twist in the movie, right? 
You don't know how the movie going to go. So it keeps you on the edge of your seat. It keeps you more engaged. It keeps you on a thrill, right? When, you, when you're when you watching a movie, let's say you're watching a movie for the first time. If you watch a movie for the first time, you're going to be really engaged in the movie. Like, wow, this happened. Wow, that happened. Wow. Every time something happened, it's more engaging. It's more of a chase, more of a thrill. But if you already been seen the movie before or you already know how the movie ends or you already know the plot of the movie or how the movie goes or the events in order of how the of how the movie goes, then the movie is boring now because you already know what's up with the movie. I already saw the movie. I already watched the movie. I already know how the movie ends. So the movie just... It, it, it's, it's boring now. What's the next movie? I want a new movie now. I already watched that movie, right? So you got to be unpredictable. This man should not know everything about you. It's certain things you want to keep to yourself. It's certain things that this man, he will get to know you over time. You know, over time, months and months and months down the line, years down the line, you want this man to be finding out new things about you. Even in the relationship, even when y'all get together, you know, this man finding out more and more stuff about you. It keeps him more engaged with you. Like, it's just a never ending story. Like, wow, this happened to you. Wow, that happened to you. You know, so don't be volunteering to tell a man all your information, all your personal business, everything you got going on, how you feel, what you do, what you got going on. Keep everything at a basic, bare minimum level. Don't tell a man what your mama name is. And don't tell a man, you know, what you made on your first report card in in grade school. You know, don't be telling a man, you know, all your business and everything that happened to you. Let him wonder, let him think, let him let him want you and be a mystery. When you're a mystery, this man say, you know what? I want to know more about you. You know, have you ever had a man that say, I want to really get to know you? The reason why he want to get to know you is because he like, I don't know nothing about you. Like, I see you. I, I like what I see. Obviously, I like what I see. But I want to get to know you more. I don't know nothing about you. What's the real you? You know? And, you know, it's just like pulling back. So, you got to be like a present. You know? When this man, you can't just be a, a gift. You got to be a present. You know? You got to be wrapped up. So, when that man pulled a bow off of you... When a man unwraps you and, and unravels you and takes the takes the paper off and stuff to get down to who you really are, it makes it more exciting than if you just gave somebody a gift, but you didn't wrap it up. It's like, here go a gift. It's like, oh, thanks. You know, they happy for the gift, but it's no excitement. But if you give somebody a gift and it's wrapped up, they're like, oh, you know, let me see what's up with it. Let me open it up, right? So you want to be a mystery. You want to be very vague and don't tell all your business, right? Keep your business to a bare minimum, you know? Keep the basic stuff. Just tell this man basic things about you, you know what I'm saying? And just tell this man basic things about you. You know, your name, you know, maybe how old you are, maybe what you do for a living, you know, the basic stuff. Not all in depth in your childhood and all this stuff. Let him figure that out later, right? Not on the first date or the second date or the third date. Let him figure that stuff out later. What you want to do is you want to be in control of the conversation. You want to know more about that man than what he know about you. You want to be a mystery, but you want to know everything about him. You get what I'm saying? You don't want him to know everything about you. You got to play your cards right, right? This is a game of chess. You want to be, you want to remain a mystery, but you want to know everything about this man. So you want to know everything about what this man, what he doing. You want to know all about his childhood. You want to, you want him to tell you all, you want to ask this man all the questions. So how was your childhood? So, so how was your mother's, what's you and your mother's relationship growing up? So what's your favorite color? So what you like to do for fun? So how did you grow up? So did you make good grades in school? So, you know, were you a popular kid? How did you grow up? How were you, you know? 
you know, stuff like that. You know, you want to know everything about him. You know, do he have any siblings? You want, you want the whole spill on him. You want to know all his information, all his business, but he barely know anything about you. So at the end, you know everything about him, but then he going to turn around and say, wow, wait, I told you everything about me, but I don't really know too much about you, or I just know the basic stuff, but I don't know a whole lot about you. And I want to learn more. Like, what's up with you? You know, I, I want to I wanna see more about you. I don't really know you. I like you, and you know everything about me, so I want to know about you, you know? So that makes him more curious, and that makes him think about you and who you really are, because he don't really know the real you. He just know what he see, but he don't know what you've been through and all your business and stuff like that, right? So it makes you more engaging, more thrilling, it makes you more of a mystery. It makes you like that movie that he saw for the first time, you know? And he's like, wow. Like, or or that, or that, or you're that present that he's taking the bow and the ribbon off and he's unraveling to see what's inside, you know? So it makes it more fulfilling, right? So that's number three. So number four. So number four. The fourth way, how you as a woman, how you can make any man think about you nonstop is you got to act nonchalant after sleeping with him. So let's say you slip up, right? A lot of y'all ladies, you might slip up, right? Maybe you had sex with a man too early. Let's say you had sex with a man too early. You know, a lot of times I say wait. You know, I tell y'all to wait to have sex with a man let him take you out first or a couple times before you give him sex, right? Let a man invest into you, take you out, spend some money on you, spend some time with you before getting sex out of you, right? Let him take you out a couple times, let him spend some money, let him spend some time with you before getting sex. But I get it, you know, we all grown and you know, we all adults, right? So it might not work that way, right? Maybe you have sex with a man on the first night or you had sex with a man too early. Let's say you had sex with a man too early, right? Or you had sex with a man, you know, on the first night you slipped up, whatever, right? Now, now that you slipped up, you can still turn it around now, right? Even if you do have sex with that man and stuff like that, and you say, dang, I, I didn't mean to have sex with him that fast. Or dang, you know, I really liked him. I really wanted him. I didn't want to wait. Or dang, you know, he was so attractive. It just happens, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Now, even after y'all have sex, you still want to be nonchalant. You want to be, you know, act the same, be unpredictable, unavailable. Because a lot of times when a man has sex with you and it's really good sex, especially if it's really good sex, right? This man going to feel like, oh, I had sex with her. She ain't going nowhere. I got this woman wrapped around my finger. This woman is now mine. I marked my territory. This woman is mine. This woman want me. This woman, she's all mine, you know? And I know she's attached to me. Yeah, I, I put it in her, you know? I gave her that good sex, and I put it in her, and now she's gonna be hypnotized now. Now I got her wrapped around my finger. Now I got this girl emotionally attached to me, you know, since I had sex with her. But when you're not emotionally attached to a man after sex, and even after y'all have sex, you still like whatever. You still do the same thing. Don't give him no compliments. You act the same. Even after y'all have sex, you still act the same. Don't give him no compliments. Don't be chasing him. Don't be answering your phone all the time. Don't be texting him back so fast. You know, keep everything the same. Just act like you still don't care. Like it's whatever, you know? Like he's not a priority. Then this man gonna be like, what? What? You mean to tell me I had sex with her and she's not emotionally attached to me? Because every man, they automatically feel like if I have sex with a woman, she's my territory. If I have sex with a woman, now she's obsessed with me. If I have sex with a woman, she's going to be attached to me. If I have sex with a woman, she's going to be wanting me so bad, she's not going to go nowhere. I got her wrapped around my finger. But if you not wrapped around his finger, even after the sex, he going to be like, wait a minute. Did, am I just a booty call? Did she hit and quit me? 
I don't want her to hit and quit me. I don't want her to be, I don't want to be a booty call. So she going to have sex with me. And then when I call her the next day, she don't answer. So we just had sex last night. And when I text her, she don't text me back. After, after what I just gave her last night, I gave it to her. I laid it down last night. I gave her that good sex last night. I laid it down last night. And she's still not texting me back. That still didn't make her want me more. That still didn't get her attention. That still didn't make her obsessed with me. What? So what do I do to get her attention? The sex didn't work. You know, a lot of men know, hey, you know, either I could get a woman. A lot of men know, you know, sometimes I could keep a woman by giving her a lot of money. Or maybe I could keep a girl by giving her really good sex and she won't go nowhere, right? So he felt like if I could just do one of those two things, I'm going to get the woman attached to me, right? And she ain't going to go nowhere. But when you don't care, it's like, wait a minute. Why don't she care? And why is she ghosting me? She going to ghost me? Or is she going to ignore me? Or she going to be inconsistent? Wishy-washy? Mixed signals? Nonchalant? Hot and cold with me after I just gave her that sex. What's up? What? You know, so that gets in his mind and that makes him want you more that he still don't have you wrapped around his finger and it makes him want you more because now he want you wrapped around his finger and he know that the good sex didn't work. And the fact that you had good sex with him and you did not get attached. Every man automatically think that a woman gets attached after sex, which, you know, a lot of times it is true. A lot of women do get attached after sex, right? It's a lot of women that that usually may get attached after sex. A lot of women do, but you got to be that woman that don't get attached after sex. If you're the woman that don't get attached after sex, do not get attached after sex, right? Don't get attached. When you be the one that's not attached, he gonna be like, what's up with her? Why isn't she attached to me? How do I get her attached now? Since the sex didn't work, what I gotta do now to get her attention? Now he's always thinking about you. Now he's thinking about what's up? He's thinking about you now because he's messing with his ego because now he's thinking about you like, wow, you know, I thought that my good sex game was going to make her chase me and attach to me and it didn't work. So was I really that good? I must not have been that good then. Was I not good enough for her? She's not attached to me. She's not emotionally attached to me, right? What happened? Am I not that good in bed? Was I small? Do I not know what I was doing? Was she not feeling it last night? Did I not rock her world last night? Why don't I have her wrapped around my finger, right? So that makes him go crazy over you and wants you more, right? So never get attached after sex and make his mind wonder like, wait a minute, why don't I have this woman? Like after everything, I'm calling, I'm texting her, I'm taking her out, I'm giving her good sex and I still don't all the way have her. I need her. How do I get this woman attention, right? So that's number four. So number five. The fifth and last and find a way how you as a woman, how you can make any man chase up after you, want you more, and think about you nonstop is you got to have a life outside of a man. So you, like I said before, you got to be busy. It's more to life than a man. It's way, way, way more to life than waiting for a man to call you. Is more to life than waiting for a man to text you back or to text you at all. Is more to life than waiting on a man to want to see you or to be hanging out with a man, being all up under a man or having sex with a man is more to life than men. When you as a woman, when you figure out there's more to life than men, you become a very powerful woman because you will never need a man to complete your life because your life is already complete with or without a man. If your life is already complete with or without a man, then a man knows, wow, this is a powerful woman and I don't have no power like how I want power or how I would have power with a woman that doesn't have a life. If you, if you don't have no life, 
This man know you always available for me. When I call you, you'll answer. When I want to see you, you'll come see me. When I text you, you'll text back. You're never busy. You're always there. You're boring, right? But if you're, but if you're a woman and you got hobbies, you got friends and family, you go to events, you got things in your life to do, that makes you more valuable. So now that man's like, wait a minute, she got a life full. So she don't need me. So she don't necessarily need me. And sometimes when a man feel like you don't need him, it makes him want you more. Cause it's like, wait a minute, you know, I want to be a priority in her life. She got such a, you know, she got such an abundant life. How do I, how do I get up in her life? Can she make time for me? I don't want some time. How does she get, how does she make some time for me, right? So now he's going to be chasing you, wanting more of your time because you're always busy and you got a life outside of him and he know that no matter what, you know, you can stand on your own two feet with or without him and it makes him respect you more and want you more and think about you nonstop. Because now he's like, well, I wonder what she's doing right now. I wonder where she's at right now. I wonder, you know, is she having fun right now? She always doing something. She's always busy. I wonder how she is right now. And it makes him want you and crave you more. And it makes the time that y'all spend together that much more special, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five ways how you as a woman, how you can make a man think about you nonstop, right? And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me and I'm out of here. So to the next video.